Right, in this video, we are going to take a look at getting uh, MySQL installed on OS X. Now, if you are not using a uh, Mac system, please check out one of the other installation videos. This is going to be a very OS X uh, specific video, and uh, I am a developer on OS X by choice. I prefer that uh, for most of my own personal development. I've been doing OS X for since 2008, I think. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is go out and download MySQL. So if you go out to www.mysql.com slash downloads you'll see the uh, page for the MySQL downloads and what we want to do is come all the way down to the bottom and look for the community edition so we'll go ahead and follow that to downloads and we want the MySQL community server which is perfect for us we're not going to get into cluster router utilities right now so let's go ahead and download that and we, we can say this is available as a separate download and I want to select uh, OS X and I'm going to bring down the DMG archive and we can see it. I've actually already downloaded it so we didn't have to wait for it to download. Now in the other tab here I actually have an overview of the installation options so that there are installation instructions. I will leave this link in the uh, course resources for this video lecture where you'll be able to get to this link and for using these native packages I'm going to use the package installer for MySQL, which is going to set it up. And we'll, we'll click on that, we'll go through this. Typically not a, a fan of this type of installer because it has a lot of clicks to get through it, but we'll step through that. And the, the one thing that we do want to do is uh, set up the MySQL server, preference plane, and launch D support. So these two are kind of important. They're not mandatory, but they are going to give you an icon under system settings to work with it. And launch D support is going to, if your system restarts, MySQL will automatically be restarted on it so you don't have to go and start it. So you can see here how this is going to go through the, the summary. We're going to step through this in just a moment here. And the other thing that I want to point out here is at the bottom of this, MySQL is installed as an application within your operating system. So a lot of OS X applications are just going to be under the application directory where you can just go Delete them. MySQL is a little bit different than the typical OS X application. It's more like a Unix application where it's going to be installed in under user local, and then uh, a number of different directories are going to get created there. So important to understand if you ever have to peek underneath the covers where OS X was got installed. So I'm going to come over here and start the installation process now. You can see here it's going through, verifying it, and I should get the installer popping up. Uh, go ahead and double click on this and now we can see here and do this to make this a little clearer for us so this introduction I'm going to click on continue so you can see remember I mentioned that it is under the GNU public license so I'm going to cl click continue there and of course we have to agree on that so in the uh, install notes it does say you can change install lo location the install notes say that that does not work, so trying to change your install location will not do anything according to the install directions. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that, and I am going to use my Touch ID to uh, authorize it to go in and install the files to my own operating system. And you can see it, it actually uh, goes by fairly quick. It is not, by modern day standards, a very large program. And we can see here that it has set up a password here so I'm going to copy that and make note of it so this is an important message so root at localhost that is the most powerful password on MySQL so it does, does create a temporary password for it so when you're going through it definitely make note of that but you can always reset the root password as well so there's a couple uh, workarounds for it so don't worry if you forget it there's a way to, to get around that so I'm going to say OK here. And now the installation process is done. I'm going to go ahead and close that. And I am just going to say move it to trash because I am all done with that installer. And that closes down. Now I want to come up here to System Preferences. And you can see now that I have a MySQL icon at the bottom here. So in this bottom plane here. So go ahead and click on that. And you can see that MySQL server instance is stopped, so let's go ahead and start it. So I am going to use my Touch ID again, and we can see that it has started up normally. 
And typically, we're going to be working with it a lot. I will leave this uh, selected. MySQL server, running it in the background as your system is running, it really doesn't take up a lot of resources. Not on modern hardware, especially. You'll, you won't even know it's there. But if you're doing development against it, kind of nice to have it up and running so you don't have to go out and start it manually. So kind of a nice to have. And again, just so to remind you that it was under system preferences. So I come to system preferences and you'll have a new MySQL down there. You want to make sure that is running and automatically start MySQL server on startup. So at this point, MySQL is installed and running in the background on the machine. Now in the next section of the course, what we're going to do is look at getting connected to MySQL. So the primary goal of this whole section of the course will get MySQL installed and set up on your local machine. And then we will start looking at connecting to MySQL and using MySQL locally on your server.